indeed we have it's nice to be able to hear Lou speaking again and as you can see we've managed to find in the thickest of thick Tingana so Tingana is sitting there you can see with his tick ridden and bitten ears that it's him he's an older cat so the ears have got a few little war wounds but he has found himself in the thickest bush possible he's right actually next to one of the main roads and if you had to drive past here there is no way that you would see him in fact VM and I took us a few minutes to actually get a proper visual and to notice that he was here so he's tucked himself away and I'm quite surprised that he's lying here he's like I say on one of the main roads so it's going to be a busy day for him he's going to have lots of traffic going up and down so I was hoping that he would get up and start moving and try and get himself into a quieter area for a rest but he's looking magnificent his body condition is great he's looking really really good and I haven't seen him for a while it's been about two three weeks since I last saw him but he looks like he's had a decent meal at some point so his belly is not gaunt in any way and you can see the structure of his back and his hip area everything is in really really good condition his coat looks magnificent at the moment as well there's no ticks or any sort of parasites that I can see so he's looking really really great and you can see he's just kind of facing away from us at the moment there is a breeze that's blowing and it's coming towards us from his direction so if he sits like that any sort of wind that's coming from south of him is blowing into his face so he'll be able to detect if there's any prey potential prey animals or if there's any threat that's coming just from the wind direction and that's why he's faced that way also there was a car that came from the southern side just now and he kind of turned over to have a look and see what was coming up the road but his camouflage is absolutely incredible given that he's such a big animal you would think that this leopard would be easy to spot but we are parked probably no more than five meters from him and we're still getting this broken kind of outline of him if you had to park 20 meters away there's no ways you would see even a spot he would just disappear completely so his camouflage really works in his favor and i wonder where he came from because we drove this area and there weren't really any signs of his tracks he must have come from arethusa side we're right up against the arethusa cut line with juma and so he must have been lurking around here. I wonder if he didn't go and pay a visit to Shadow and the Cubs and go and see what's going on with her. But he seems to be in full relaxation mode. There's not been too much activity. And I can actually see it's difficult from this angle that we're at now, but from where I'm sitting, you can see his head is just starting to droop slightly. So I wouldn't be surprised he's going to lie down properly. He's kind of moving his head a little bit every now and then and almost looks as though he's about to flop down like the lions do so wouldn't be surprised if he goes flat now now and has a good nap and this is the nice thing about this time of the year with the grass and the growth of the grass and the vegetation becoming so dense is that he can sit right here and animals will come so close without him even being seen so he's in a perfect place to stalk if anything came through and that's why he's probably sitting here as he knows that he's very well concealed in this and so should any potential prey animal come past he's in prime position to sight so so potato um i missed your question unfortunately comms are still a little bit breaky but i don't know if lou can maybe repeat it for me so you would like to know whether leopard mates with the same female over the years well yes it can happen um, Tingana I've seen mating with a number of different females multiple times so I've seen this particular male mate with shadow oh, I can't even remember how many times now easily 20 times over the last few years he mated with Salahesh multiple times he's mated with Karula multiple times so as as long as he's dominant in this area and that female comes into an Easter cycle he'll mate with her so you'll find with Karula now, if she starts to, to push the cubs away in the next few months and he's still dominant, then very likely he will then mate with her again. And we think that he is the father of those cubs. Um, 
and I would imagine that if she does come into heat, he's definitely going to be one of the first males that covers her and tries to mate with her. So they will mate with the same female for years, as long as they're dominant. As soon as they lose their dominance, then they no longer will mate with that female, um, because they generally have been pushed out by a stronger male who will get to that female first. Um, and even if he tries to mate with the female and there's a bigger, stronger male, he might get ousted from that mating privilege. So. But this particular male has mated many, many times with all the females in, that we see. So he's mated with Tandi many times. He's mated with um, Karula, Shadow, Salahesh, Moya. Um, when Kotile was still alive, he's mated with her. So a number of different females that he's uh, encompassed in his territory. But right now, he seems like he's not interested in anything. He's now tucked his head up and... It looks as though he is fast asleep, and it's pretty.